Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, thank you for being here and we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to be doing a reading for mid-January. I'm going to get started by cleansing my space and cleansing the decks that I will be using and that I will be called to use during this reading. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy. And um, let's see what energies will be playing out for you, Capricorn, for mid-January. And uh, today we are going to be using the Psychic Tarot. Um, all of the decks used in this reading today will be listed down in the description box so that you can find them and purchase them um, if you would like them for yourselves. Okay? This is a general reading, so if the reading does not resonate with you today, please go check your sun, moon, and rising sign. And check all of the other videos that I have in my playlist um, to see if any of those resonate with you as well, okay? Okay. One last shuffle and we will get started. <clears throat> Spirit, please give me the messages that Capricorn needs to hear for mid-January. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Capricorn, so... What we are starting out with is the Five of Pentacles, which is financial and material changes. So um, this card can signify that you will be experiencing changes in your financial situation, um, good or bad, and we will find that out as we clarify. Um, fives are um, about change, they signify change. Um, and so if you are possibly looking for uh, employment in a new career or you've recently lost or gained a job, um, possibly um, invested or um, took out your investments. So um, those are just examples of what this change could possibly be talking about. Again, we'll clarify, okay? Um, we have the strength card here. This is power. Strength talks about, this is the card of Leo, and strength talks about um, a challenging situation that you have had to endure and you have um, needed to utilize your strength to get past. Now, if this um, is talking about a situation that has happened already, um, you've definitely been very strong in um, getting past whatever that was. Um, this could also be something that you may need to be strong about or um, strong with in your um, near future, okay? And we have the Three of Pentacles, which is recognition and reward. Um, and so this can talk about um, being recognized in the workplace. It can, it can also talk about partnerships and possible um, work um, situations where you are um, um, being recognized and you are um, possibly taking the lead in a project or um, just in the job in general and you're definitely being looked at and rewarded for that um, and this could be in a group of people okay so we're gonna go ahead and clarify we're gonna go ahead and use um, I'm actually being called to use the uh, original tarot the Rider weight so let's see what messages come out for you regarding uh, the first cards that came out. Oh, 
Okay. Spirit, please clarify the Five of Pentacles financial and material changes for Capricorn, please. So we have the Three of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Swords, okay? So um, this is telling me that there is a group of people here um, that you may be working with. Um, this could be um, also um, a unit of people who you are surrounding yourself with, so um, it could be maybe um, people you live with or your family um, so um, the the hangman is really talking about a new perspective and um, radical views sometimes um, also strong beliefs and going against the grain so um, with just these two cards here um, I'm really getting that there could be a possible um, There could be possible changes within the people within the group of people that you were living with. Um, maybe uh, something happened with the finances that caused um, you to have to um, either move in with people um, to help alleviate some of the financial struggles, or um, you know to divvy up some of the rent, um, or you are moving out um, and you are possibly going on your own. Um, to have a new perspective, but you are definitely unsure. You're you, you are feeling like you cannot attain um, the ideal situation um, for you currently due to the financial um, changes that are happening for you um, in your life right now. So this is telling me that you may have to go into a living situation um, that may not be ideal for you currently just because um, of the financial situation that um, you are experiencing um, but if you um, if you you know this this girl here has um, a blindfold and some ties around her but they are fairly loose she can easily get out of those right <clears throat> so um, you are feeling a little constricted and you are feeling a little up in your head um, and possibly feeling like you cannot attain something right now um, but you definitely can get out of this situation um, and it may take a different perspective in order for you um, to accomplish what you want to do um, going forward okay sorry Capricorn I had to pause the video because I have two Rottweilers who like to howl howl really loud and so I had to pause the video sorry about that we're back Okay, so as I was saying, um, you may need to have a new perspective on how you're going to proceed with your current living situation, um, possibly with, um, you know, getting out of um, um, an agreement with people or getting into an agreement, a living agreement with people. Um, so let's see what this strength card is. It looks like you will have to be strong. Um, during mid-January. Let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, please clarify the strength card for Capricorn. Thank you. Okay, we have the Three of Wands the devil, the wheel of fortune, and the emperor. Okay, so you are going to be moving forward, um, but you definitely have to be careful um, with the energy that is showing up here. There's the devil energy here. 
Um, this is the card of Capricorn here. Um, sometimes this card can um, talk about procrastination or self-doubt. Um, so if you're moving forward, you may be moving forward with some lack of confidence and fear. Um, and, you know, rightfully so if you're not um, in a situation where you can um, be in a comfortable um, situation in a comfortable setting. But um, nonetheless, you have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is really talking about um, enrichment and opportunity. So you may have an opportunity here to save some money. If you are, um, you know, going back to the situation here, um, if you are living with several people and you're able to save a little bit of money by paying less rent, um, that can give you an opportunity to save. Now we do have the Emperor um, card coming out here. This is the card of Aries. And this is telling me that you do have ambition, you are highly skilled, um, and you do have the ability to um, move in a direction that will allow you to take the lead um, to do what you need to do and um, make sure that you are um, pursuing the things that you need to pursue so that you can get yourself back on track, okay? And you will be doing that. You just need to be careful about this energy here, about procrastinating and about, um, you know, just having the lack of confidence to move into a new direction, okay? But you, uh, you do have the Emperor card here. Capricorn, and this tells me that you are highly skilled, so if you're looking for work, um, you are definitely um, uh, going to have opportunities to move into a better situation, okay? Let's talk about this recognition and reward, the Three of Pentacles for Capricorn Spirit. Please give me messages to clarify. the Empress here, we have the Fool, and we have the King of Cups, okay? So the Empress um, card is uh, definitely talking about someone who is abundant, um, creative, open-minded, um, and so with this energy here, this is if you're an artist or you are someone who creates um, content on, on the internet, on YouTube, or if you're someone who makes jewelry, makes candles, somebody who's creative, um, you definitely are moving into a direction in, in that sense. If you are not an artist or anything like that, this is just saying that you are, um, you are very generous and you are um, open-minded to new possibilities, okay? And with the full card, there is a new beginning here. Um, just be careful of being um, having no regard for consequences in this new beginning, okay? That goes back to the um, energy of the devil card. Um, always try to remain positive and try to remain optimistic, okay, on your journey. There's a new journey here for you who, that is going to begin. And um, you may be feeling a little bit emotional about how um, to move into this new direction. It may be a little overwhelming. It may be um, feeling like you... Um, are a little um, emotional at this time. Um, so with the because these cards here are really um, signifying, uh, not signifying, but um, clarifying, I'm sorry, um, recognition and reward, which is the three of pentacles. Um, this talks, the three of pentacles can talk about partnerships as well. Um, and so if you are looking at um, combining incomes or even starting a new business with the partners that you are living with or partners that you are involved with, um, people that you're invo involved with. It could be, it could be related to um, um, an artistic venture or um, a new venture that um, is um, going to really help you solidify um, this recognition and reward in the partnership. It's going to be very rewarding for you. Now, um, this King of Cups could also um, signify someone who you might be working with, and this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio individual. Um, so you may be starting a new business with um, uh, 
one of those signs. Now, it doesn't have to be one of those signs, but I do see that's a possibility here. Um, so if you know um, that you are dealing with someone, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, um, you may be going into business or into a new project with this individual, okay? And it looks like with this recognition and reward, it looks like you may be... Um, um, you may be recognized um, for your talents uh, in this in this area, okay? All right, Capricorn, I'm going to get one last card for you um, to close the reading. Again, if it did not resonate with you, um, please just move on. Um, go ahead and go check out some of the other videos I have in my playlist. Go check out um, some of the other people on YouTube, other readers who might... Um, have some a message for you that you need to hear okay again I'm not going to pause the video again because um, it just it's too much I'm sorry about my dogs they're howling outside really loud please just don't mind them okay spirit please give me the messages that corporate Capricorn needs to hear today Capricorn thank you the message we got is surrender to the flow okay so yeah although um, there's going to be some changes um, regarding your money here there are going to be some living situations that might have to uh, you know change because of money uh, situations um, but just go with the flow surrender to whatever comes to you um, allow everything to flow naturally and um, you know Make sure that you are um, staying away from the negative thoughts, negative energy, um, and allow yourself to just let things be, okay? They'll work themselves out. They always do, all right? So this was your reading, Capricorn. I hope you're having a happy new year, and until next time, namaste.